Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over a complete review of the newsletter platform Beehive. Nowadays, a lot of businesses and entrepreneurs are starting to create newsletters because of many reasons, such as the fact that it's a great way to build trust with your audience, market your existing services, and also just give them a ton of free value that they can consume on a consistent basis. There are so many different platforms out there that you can use, such as Kajabi, MailChimp, and Substack. But in today's review, we're gonna be going over the platform Beehive, which we think is the best choice for creators and entrepreneurs with personal brands. You're gonna wanna stick around until the end of the video because we're gonna be going over a ton of things such as the pricing, the features, and a bunch of other important stuff that sets it apart from the rest of the newsletter platforms. Okay, so here I am on the landing page that you guys are also gonna see once you click on the link down in the description below. And from here, you guys can like scroll down and see all the different newsletters that are built with Beehive, as well as all the different features that they offer. And if I scroll Scroll back up and I go to their pricing. You guys can see that the pricing is really, really good. So if you're a total beginner and you don't have a big budget, you could just get started with the free plan. So this has a bunch of key features such as web hosting, which we'll go over later on in this video, but they also have custom newsletters, analytics, custom fields, unlimited sending, and a bunch of other different stuff, along with the fact that you can, you know, of course, create your newsletter on there. If I scroll down, you guys can see there's a bunch of other different features that they have, depending on which plan that you have. Have, of course. So we'll be leaving a link down in the description below if you're interested in learning more about the different features that they offer. And if I go back to the top, you'll see that they'll actually ask you how many subscribers you have. And you can go ahead and input however much you have, and then it'll tell you which plan is the best for you. So you'll see that right here, I put that I have 2,500 subscribers, and you'll see that the free plan will support up to that much. But if I go more than that, then it's going to go ahead and say that I have to have the grow plan or the scale plan. But when we're looking at the prices for the grow and the scale plan, you can see that the grow plan is $42 per month if you bill it annually, and the scale plan is $84 per month billed annually. So not too bad. You can also just start a 14-day free trial with no credit card required. So it's a really good option for people that want to try it out. But inside of these two plans, you have access to a bunch of different things like custom domains if you want to get rid of the .beehive ending. It also offers a bunch of different things that are really important, like the A-B testing of the subject lines. And then if we go to the scale plan, you'll see that that it actually has the integrated referral programs. We'll talk more about this later on in the video, but just know that this is really big if you're trying to seriously grow your newsletter. But again, it's totally fine if you guys just wanna start with the free plan and then upgrade as you go along. Now, if I scroll back up and I go to the resources, you guys can see that they have a bunch of stuff that you can consume. So they have a blog with a bunch of different articles that'll help you scale your newsletter. They also have a support section along with tutorial videos that will teach you how to use the platform if you're a total beginner. So just taking a look at their blog really quickly. You guys can see that it's formatted exactly like how it would on a normal newsletter. And if I scroll down, you guys can see they have a bunch of different articles that will teach you about a bunch of different stuff like the four best ways to monetize your newsletter, for example, the seven best email list management tools, and a bunch of other really useful and educational blog articles that you guys can check out. We'll leave a link down in the description below for you guys to check this page out as well. Now, before I take you guys through our dashboard on Beehive, I wanted to take you through a couple examples of some really good newsletters that are built on Beehive. So this is Milk Road, for example. This is a crypto newsletter. And you guys can see this is a really well-designed landing page. And right here, they've embedded the code for Beehive. So you would just need to enter in your email address, click subscribe, and then you'll be getting all of their Beehive newsletters. And here's another example of another Beehive newsletter. It's called the Morning Brew. This is a newsletter that covers a bunch of different topics such as tax, business, economy, and finance. But they have this page right here set up with all of their previous newsletter posts. And and so people can check out this page and not only read their past newsletter posts, but also subscribe and get it straight to their email as well. And this is the reason why Beehive is so strong, right? It creates a website for you. And this is all free too. So you can have all of your newsletters on a website like this, just on the free plan by itself. And inside of this website, you can actually change a bunch of stuff within the SEO in order to get it to rank higher on Google searches. Now to show you guys our dashboard, this is basically what we have so far. We just switched over, so not too much information yet, but you guys can see that we imported a bunch of our previous subscribers right here. So this is why we have this huge jump right here. And this isn't going to be a complete tutorial on, you know, how to use Beehive because we do have another video on the channel. If you guys want to check that out, we give a full in-depth tutorial on how to actually use Beehive to start a newsletter, but I'm just going to be going over a quick overview of some of the things that you can do. So if you want to start writing, you can do that right here by clicking on this button. And then from there, it's going to give you the option to write a title, the subtitle. It allows you to choose the option 
authors, any guest authors, a date. It'll allow you to preview your email, send a test email, save as a template. So you can reuse this email template if you want. And you can also schedule it ahead of time. And then if I go over to the email, this can go ahead and create an A-B test for my subject line, right? So it's gonna A-B test and see which subject line is gonna maximize the click-through rate and engagement with your subscribers. Just like how with YouTube, you A-B test your thumbnails with TubeBuddy, this is gonna A-B test your subject line. So it's just maximizing the click-through rate and engagement, all good stuff for if you wanna grow your newsletter. And this comes with the, I believe, scale plan. So it's not gonna be available for the free plan, but again, super, super worth it if you guys have a serious newsletter and you guys wanna grow, highly recommend investing into the scale plan. Now, if I go over to the website, you guys can see I can change the slug. So let's say this newsletter is about, you know, entrepreneurship, right? So I'll just name it entrepreneurship for now. I can go ahead and just change the slug to entrepreneurship. And then now the slug is gonna be entrepreneurship. So it's gonna rank higher on the SEO side of things for people that are searching for the entrepreneurship topic. And you can even set a thumbnail for your website settings. And here, if I go to the SEO, you guys can see I can change the title and the description. And it's also gonna show me what it looks like on Google. Now, if I go to delivery, it's gonna go ahead and be able to choose a segment. So if I want to, you know, separate some of my subscribers on my newsletter, I can do that right here. And I can also choose the different platforms that it sends out to, whether on web or email or both. And then if I go ahead and click on the actual newsletter, I could see that it says type the slash button to browse options. So if I go ahead and press the slash button, you guys can see there's a bunch of different commands that pop up. You can create things like bulleted lists, you can create a numbered list, you can add a button, you can add an image, you could change the format of the text, you can change the font, the heading, all that good stuff. You can even embed links and videos. And let's just say that I type a title, right? So this is entrepreneurship. I can go ahead and select this right here. And then it's gonna pop up with this bar up here that's gonna allow me to bold the text, make it italic, as well as a bunch of different other customizations that I can do very easily. You know, it doesn't require me to know any coding at all. And if I want, I can also just press on the plus button right here. And it'll basically show the same menu that it did when I entered in the slash button. So yeah, super customizable. Again, this isn't a full tutorial, but you guys can play around with this stuff on your own as well as check out our other video. But for now, we'll go ahead and exit out of that. And you guys can see it'll give you an overview of your newsletter. So right here, you guys can see that we already made a template of what our newsletters should look like. So it's gonna include the footer, the header, and a bunch of other things like the social icon. Another great thing about Beehive is that it shows you a bunch of analytics. So you can go here and then see you know how many people clicked on your post, how many people unsubscribed, and just a bunch of other really useful analytics like that. You can see the poll metrics if you created a poll on your newsletter, and you can also go ahead and see the details on the A-B test. Now, if I go right here to the grow section, you guys can see that it has a referral program right here. And this is another great thing about the Beehive platform that I don't see any other newsletter platform doing right now, which is basically where your audience can invite others to sign up for your newsletter in exchange for a gift once they reach a certain amount of invites. So just to show you guys an example, this is another newsletter built on Beehive. It's called the Publish Press. And you guys can see right here at the bottom of their newsletters, they have this share the press section where basically you can refer other people to their newsletter. So right here, they give me my unique link and you can see right here, it tells me that if I invite five people, I'll get a sticker. If I invite 20 people, I'll get a hat, a shirt, and then a crew neck. And then it'll also keep track of how many referrals I need in order to get the next gift. So this is super, super useful for being able to grow your newsletter. And again, it's just one of the things that's very unique about Beehive that makes it really good for creators out there that wanna seriously grow their newsletter. Now, if I go over here to the monetization section and I click on subscriptions, you guys can see that you can create a subscription newsletter service. You guys can see that they give you a bunch of insight on your premium subscriptions within your newsletter. So this is great for creators that wanna, you know, have a paid newsletter. So this is really great if you wanna keep track of, you know, how many people are subscribed, how many people upgrade to your premium plan, how many people unsubscribe or downgrade to the free plan. And they also have a bunch of different features that are coming to Beehive, such as being able to monetize your newsletter with premium sponsors, as well as the partner program where you can basically earn 50% of revenue for referring new paying customers to Beehive. Now, if I go down here to the audience, you guys can see that I have my whole list of subscribers here and you can search through all of your different subscribers as well as import all of your subscribers if you're coming from a different newsletter platform. And then there's also segmentation. So you can create a different segment and separate your subscribers based on their, you know, attributes or activities. Right here, you can create polls that you can use to, you know, learn more about your audience and ask them questions. And they also have a bunch of different stuff like custom fields, survey forms, and subscribe forms that you can create. And if I go down to the analyze section, it'll give me a report of all these subscribers so I can learn more about my audience. 
audience. So this is really good information that you know every newsletter should know. And you can also see the reports on all of your posts. Now, if I go here to the settings button, you guys can see I can manage a bunch of different things like the profile picture, the name, the email, the Twitter handle, as well as the bio. And I can also go ahead and change a bunch of different stuff like the domains, as well as the logo, thumbnail, and publication name. This is all really important stuff if you wanna be able to fully customize your newsletter. And then down here for the design lab, you guys can see that we built out a template already of how everything should look. So we changed, you know, what the background color should look like, what the font should be, what the font size should be, how the footer and the header should look, as well as the social icons. And this makes it super easy for you to just focus on writing the newsletter and then they'll build out the template for you. So yeah, again, this wasn't a full tutorial on how to use Beehive. If you guys are interested in learning more about that, you guys can check out our previous video that we made on this channel. That'll teach you everything you need to know to start your newsletter from scratch using Beehive. And I would say to just try out Beehive for free if you're a total beginner and then upgrade along the way as you grow your newsletter. But if you guys already have one, then I highly recommend investing into the either grow plan or the scale plan because the features that they include on these plans are super amazing for creators that want to seriously grow their business. Anyways, that's it for today's video. We aren't paid by Beehive, by the way, to make this review. We just wanted to talk about our experience with the platform so far, and we'll definitely be using it from now on since it's so much better than all the other newsletter platforms. Again, the link to Beehive is going to be down in the description below. It's not going to cost you anything extra if you click on our link, but it will help support the channel and allow us to continue making free videos like this for you guys. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. We create a ton of how-to guides and tutorials dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.